Hello, this is Ed Templeton. We're here at the Ruka headquarters in Costa Mesa, California. We're gonna do a little industry profile. Murals painted out front. This one's by Kevin Ansel. Dude who invented the freaking Spitfire logo. If Ansel had a nickel for every uh, Spitfire logo that's out there, he'd be a millionaire. Uh, mural by Barry McGee right here. Famous uh, San Francisco graffiti artist. There's the sign. Proves we're at Ruka. We can come back to this. Josh, you finish this. We're gonna go tour. Okay. Sometimes there's uh, secretaries in here. President sighting. Receptionist. Is that your title? Yes, I Before I was on, they started, but right at the same, around the same time. They started this thing called the Artist Network Program, um, offering artists to do shirts with their choice of uh, getting paid or um, donating the proceeds to a charity of their, of their choice. It's just kind of a cool thing that set them apart, right? You know, when Jimmy came to me asking if I wanted to ride for this company, and this told me this is the, one of the first things they're doing. It just sounded, sounded pretty rad. The owner, Pat's an art collector. So this whole place is filled with art. This is Mark Mothersbaugh from Devo. This is a, a fence I painted at the old warehouse. You can see Thomas Campbell's influence here. You can see Yogi's influence here. And these blue stripes and this thing. Ben Horton, Adam Wallachavage. He did toy machine graphics a long time ago. Kelsey Brooks. Rich Jacobs. <coughs> Alex Cops. Basically what we're saying is there's art everywhere. My team manager's office, Jimmy Arrighi. Photo of Rollins, photo of Greco. Two Grecos. Jimmy Arrighi in the background. In the this is Casey, he does all the artwork. Every time you see an ad, all that stuff comes from this guy's computer. Jar filled with a dead scorpion. Bag of fireworks, just in case. Terminator mask. Freaking OG uh, Star Wars figures. Mark Gonzalez sends a personal note to Jimmy Rigi. That's how far back he goes. Jimmy used to own this ramp called the Hellbow back in the day. The Gons would skate it. Young, young Ed, young Jason Lee used to go over there and skate it. No, it's, ah, it lost its action. Oh yeah, they're still on it. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Maybe some of you kids have heard of Neil Blender. Very uh, inspirational skateboarder from my youth. Some uh, giant heads I made out of wood and painted. They're leaving later today to a trade show. So this is the marketing lounge. This is what, what do you bring uh, salespeople in here and show them how cool you are? Yeah, there's a band room in the back. Oh, there's a bar and stuff. This is the art department here. They actually do hula when you plug them in. Part of a big series, Kevin Ansel did, the guy who painted that mural outside. There's George, all those cool shirts that you see with the epic line work, that's what he does. Ruka does a magazine that, uh, called a and Quarterly. Me, Aaron Rose, and Brendan Fowler make it along with Casey. It's an art magazine, it's free, there's no advertising in it. And we distribute it around the world to different shops and uh, different places and it's kind of like just a cool thing that Ruka does, doesn't really make any money from it. Josh Harmony. It's a good looking Wolverine. Ruka, uh, Ruka Pro Josh Harmony. At the old warehouse, the ramp was inside and this was uh, painted on the, on the far wall. So you can see uh, down at the edge here, the shape of the ramp. Angel with a crowbar, devil with a broken bottle. Really inspirational when you're uh, dropping in. Think about this stuff. Anthony Carney, 401 fame, excellent skateboarder. And also, uh, what's, your, what's his title? Head of the warehouse? Warehouse director, we'll say. Warehouse director. Warehouse walkthrough. Josh, shopping for, shopping for clothes. <laughs> So it's pretty good. What do you got there? What is that? Nice gray pocket tee. Pocket tee. I like pocket tees. Yeah, can I go around the corner? Yeah, I don't have like that upper body strength that would keep me up here like looking like this at it. That was someone's face. Did Josh design these? Yeah. Rookie toiletry kit. Right. Take one of these. Okay. Anthony, give Anthony that bag. Oh shit. Oh, right in front of the warehouse, Josh. Jeez. This is Kaitano, OG employee. Second longest employee after Jimmy. The owner, Pat, is uh, really into MMA. We actually sponsor a champion, Vitor Belfort and BJ Penn. Pat, since he's such a big fan of MMA, built an octagon. <laughs> no, my art hand. Let's go skate the ramp. Yeah, here we are at the uh, now outside, formerly inside, Ruka ramp. 